done for us, where he's brought us from, where he's going to take us to one of these days. Uh, I just thank him every day for my salvation. If it wasn't for that, I don't know what I'd do. <clears throat> oh, how precious is the Oh, wow. 
always been there. If your God is dead, or if he is sleeping, he may be too tired to answer your prayer. If you feel alone, then you cannot reach him. been sung, thought about a lot of things, and <clears throat> I tell them all the time when I start to preach, I don't know what you believe, but I believe with all my heart that the Lord's coming. Amen. I believe it could be today, Dave. I believe the way things are going in the United States and in the world, amen, that God created, I believe that the Lord Jesus Christ could step out at any moment and come get His people. Amen. I thank God today that I'm on the winning side. Amen. I thank God today that I chose to believe the Word of God and be saved. Amen. Baptized in the Holy Ghost, regenerated and made alive, brother. And I thank God I'm not no longer that old man I used to be. I'm glad that I'm ready to meet Jesus. Amen. But I look around us and I see things that are going on in this world that makes me sick. Amen. 
Praise God, I'm going to tell you right now, and if you believe this Word of God and you love the Lord like I do, it makes you sick. And if the things that's going on in this world don't make you sick, you need to get a little closer to God. Can I get an amen? But this is what's been on my mind. And I've thought about it and I've tried my best to witness to people and preach and try to win people to the Lord and keep them in this thing, amen. And the hardest thing I've ever had to do in the last five years, Sister Sandy, is keep people in the house of God and keep them a loving God. Can I get an amen? Pray be unto God, it's time that we understand that the Lord's not playing games and praise God, amen, that the God that I serve is not weak. If he's anybody weak, it's man. Amen. If he's anybody available, it's man. Can I give an amen? It's not God. Amen. It's us if anybody fails. The Bible said that the hand of the Lord's not short to save and His ears not deaf to hear, but it's your iniquities that stand between you and your God. If you're not right with God this morning, it's your fault, not mine. Can I get an amen? I, I pray be unto God if you're not where you want to be with God. It's your fault, not mine. Can I get an amen? If people die in this revival and never make it to heaven, it'll not be my fault because I've told them the truth. Can I get an amen? It's because they don't want to go is the reason they're not going. Can I get an amen? Amen this morning. If you had a desire to shout and you didn't shout, it's your fault, not mine. I felt the prayer of God come all around this place and people sit around like, hey man, they don't even know what's going on. Praise God, let me tell you something. When God moves, God people ought to know it. Can I get an amen? Somebody get in the sink with me this morning. Praise God. I thought about it. People, you get confidence in, the next thing you know, they're right back living like hell. Amen. There's something wrong with this picture. Amen. People say they love the Lord and stay out of church for 20 years. There's something wrong with this picture. Come on! He gets people to feel like it. God's not hearing your prayer. You ever feel like that, Judy? Seems like you pray and we pray and we seek God's face and Rick gets worse. Amen? And it makes you feel like, praise God, just give it up. Ever anybody in this church ever felt like just give it up? And say it's enough, I can't carry it no longer. People won't listen, people won't hear. Praise God, people's are dying and going to hell. There ain't nothing I can do about it. Praise God, I'm going to preach this morning. Praise God, I'm here to tell you that I, man, I have not the problem. And you're not the problem. Sister, you've done all. Oh, my God! 
come to a place in the last little while. You try to talk to people, and then people come to you and they tell you they're out here cussing and living like everybody else, and you have confidence in them. And their life is changed. It breaks my heart, sister. And people would bring a reproach on this church and on the name of Jesus. And on what I believe, it kills me. Amen. 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 You brag on people, praise God, the people, and tell them how good they're doing in the house of God, and they say, well, they should work for cussing. But I'm going to preach a little something. You know what we live in? We live in a society that majority rules. And everybody will live and do just what everybody else is doing. The Bible teaches me to come out from among them today and be separated. I don't care if the whole world dies and goes to hell. I'm going on with Jesus. Amen. Amen. I told my youngest, praise God, if you don't want to go to heaven, I'm going to have to walk off and leave you. I told my sisters, amen, a many a time to you, that I'm going to heaven with or without you. And my prayer is I could go with you. Amen. How many times have I told you, honey? And I've got to go when the Lord calls me. And I thank God this morning that you and your family are sat in the house of God and ready to leave this world. Can I get a leave? Say praise God, amen. I ain't a saying you won't fail, you can't come short. But praise God, I'm telling you to repent and get out of it and quit bringing the reproach to the house of God. Amen. Bless you. Everybody's right when they're talking to the preacher. You ever notice that same? Gonna well, be quiet this morning. That's it. Brother preached the message the other night. If, if, if everybody had been there, you could have heard what he said. He began to preach about God grabbing up the men of God by the hair of the head and showing them some things. Amen. He began to show them the abominations that was a sitting right in the house of God and the things that the people was doing. And people just looked at him like he was crazy. But you see, I've seen it. The Lord's a come. Amen. Come on. Amen. The Lord's are coming whether you believe it or whether you don't. And praise God, your life and your mouth will tell on you quicker than anything in this world. Amen. Amen. And I've even come to the place in my life to where I've even thought about what's the use? You run in the middle of the night and you pray with people's family and you do it. The best you can do, Sandy, and praise God, you work yourself to death of trying to keep them in this faith and walking in front of them to lead them to Christ. Amen. And the next thing you know, they're making fun of you. Amen, bro. Or you do your best to keep people warm all winter. Give them wood and haul it to them and them shacked up in the house. Amen. In fornication won't even come out and help you unload the truck. Praise God. Amen. There's something wrong with this picture. Amen. Come on. Really? I'm a straight shooter, Gary. Huh? Bless you, Lord. People deceiving people. <coughs> Reproach. <laughs> Abominations. Amen. Right in the house of God. Amen. I'm going to preach a little. You see, Tim, you've known my life. Yeah, I've known you ever since you was a little bitty baby. Rocked you to sleep a time or two. Watch you grow up into a young woman, see troubles in your life, and prayed you through. Laid awake in the middle of the night and called out and cried out to God. And God delivered.
The same game. The same social club. I come to worship this morning. Amen. Amen. I've been disgusted, sick at my stomach, tired of even trying. Amen. Because the harder you try, the worse people will hurt your feelings. Did you understand what I'm saying? Amen. Right when you think you got people steadfast and they're doing good, they'll turn right back and do the same old stuff they're still been doing. And then you know what? They get mad if you say anything. But I can tell you right now, I'm not one preacher who'll keep my mouth shut. Amen. I wonder just how people figure on this thing, Brother Buck. I've watched people for the last six months and I've listened to their mouth and I've listened to their talk and I've watched their walk and I've seen things. And we're living in a society where people are so selfish and all they care about is what they want. Amen. They'll do and say things and could care less what it's going to do to these children that's in our church. <laughs> Come on. Amen. They say they love them, but they go on the way they want to go. They say they love me and you and praise God they could care less what it's a bringing on your name. Amen? Come on! I'm going to preach a little this morning. This is homecoming. It's time, praise God, we come home and get right with God. Can I get an amen? We played too long. The Lord's a coming. And praise God, He's going to catch somebody. Amen? Where they don't want to be. Hey, come on! What if God come on your job side where you work on Monday morning when things ain't going Say it slips out. It don't just slip out. You got a habit of it. Amen. 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 Boy, I got quiet on that and did it. I'm going to preach a little. You know, I got to the place, praise God, in the last little while. Hey, man, I, don't, I didn't even want to preach anymore. You know why? Because of the way people do. Huh? Come on. Say in the house of God and sing, I love Jesus, and go right back out into the world, and nobody knows that you're a Christian. Fill him up, Lord. I don't think, brother, I have to wear a shirt that says I'm a preacher. I promise you, everybody that's around me knows that I'm a preacher. Amen? Amen. You can ask some of these boys that work with me. They have no problem knowing, do they, Eric? Amen? It's because I love Jesus. And I've got enough respect for this church and for you to live my life the way the Word of God says. That praise God when you can tell people that I'm your pastor, praise God, that you can be a proud of something that's still holy. Amen. Amen. Praise be unto God, Dave. Hey, glory to God. That's what I want, amen, for people to say that's a man that loved God when he leaves. I'm going to preach a I've come to the place in my life that I'm going to walk on for Jesus and leave everybody else behind if that's what they want. Amen. I like that song this song. Well, I walk through the valleys. God put lilies in that valley. I ain't never been alone. Praise be unto God. I preached for my I preached on the streets and in barns and in the woods and everything else for ten long years. Didn't have no place to stand. Being by myself, sister, don't scare me. You know what scares me? That I wouldn't tell you the truth and you get right with God. And I'm gonna preach to somebody this morning. Somebody's already been touched because you know without a shadow of a doubt you go right to work, praise God, and you live and you cuss and you do everything just like everybody else. You know that. You played around too long. It's time to quit. 
I preached a message the other night, amen, on Friday night. Brother Mitchell mentioned it about repenting. And repenting means to get out of it. If you're still living in it, you're not sorry of it. Amen. And praise God, if you're not sorry of it, you're going to get caught in a minute. Amen. 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 Come on. Yep. I'm going to preach you. Praise God, I'm going to tell you right now, it's time that people get right with God and quit looking at everybody else. Amen. 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 Now listen to me, I'm going to preach. Gary, I thought about just sitting back and quitting. I even told my wife, I said, let's sell everything we've got and move somewhere where nobody even knows us. I even had them looking for me a farm in Kentucky, praise God. I was fixing to leave this place. Had my mind made up. I was leaving, wasn't coming back. You believe that? I had a fellow searching and finding me a farm. God said it's going to be a long ways to drive on Sunday morning. <laughs> Amen? You see, I can't leave this place till I get done preaching. Amen. But praise God, I'm going to tell you something this morning. I ain't letting up on you now. Can I get a Because I want you to be right with God when yeah. God comes. Because I'm responsible, amen, for what I tell you. Amen. Now don't preach a little bit. Bless praise God. God, we've come to the place where men and women have, amen, brought down the power of God in the name of Jesus. Tell people that, hey, there's no power in their life and they're bringing a reproach on the name of Jesus. If you want to win your people, you're going to have to live for God. If you want to power God in your life, you're going to have to be sanctified in every way today. Living for Jesus. Can I get a name? Bless him, Lord. Trolls is a curse, so what? Bless him, Lord. Don't you think the God that saves you Praise God can take care of you through the troubles. Amen. This scripture come to my mind, praise God. So this homecoming, no, praise God, this is me. Amen. We're going to have church. And if you don't want to have church, then I'm going to have church without you. Amen. Don't make my mind up. You know what my biggest hindrance is in this world? And Keith Rourke's told me many a time, you've got to quit. It's been a many a day, brother, that I've looked up for you for the truth. And you've always told me what the book said. Not one time have you ever in the life that we've met and the years that I've known you ever told me what Keith Rourke thought about it. You took me to the Word, amen. And more than one time, he's told me many a time, don't let people get to you. They're hindering you, I can see it. And he was right, sister, amen. You see, I take it personal, praise God. Because, amen, when you bring a reproach on the name of the Lord, you bring a reproach on me. Because I love him this morning. I love him enough to dedicate my life and my all in all to this man called Jesus. He paid it all for me. And I'll stand for him if nobody else will. I'm going to be a friend to Jesus. Hey, he needs me. And I need him. Amen. 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 You're the only connection between him and you. And you praise God in your family. Do you know that? Amen. That's right. Yeah, Lord. Thought about this this morning. Really, my Lord. Now listen, people don't like this kind of preaching, but you will if you'll listen to what I'm saying. Really, my Lord. If the moment that you listen to your old Uncle David, everybody said it's crazy. They said I'm a fanatic. They said I wasn't. Really, my Lord. The moment you believe what I was telling you. How good does it feel? Amen. You know, God's got them babies. Amen. When you started believing, God said you're a good man. And I believe you're a good man. And I promise you, I wouldn't tell you that if I didn't believe you. Amen. Amen. To help raise these babies. Be a husband. Amen. 
I've watched him. He's got patience. Amen. Something that I ain't got a much of. Huh? Come on, I'm going to tell it just like it is now, people. You know, you can just sew up and get mad and do whatever you want to, but when you leave this church this morning, if you don't listen to what I'm telling you, you're going to be in the same shape you was when you come in. That's right. And then you can stand before God and say, the preacher made me mad, and God's going to say, I told him to tell you, and you wouldn't listen. Amen. I beg you to repent of it now. Amen. Feel feel attention. Amen. Somebody knows you're guilty. I feel it, brother. They say, well, boy, he wrote homecoming. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Going back to your job site tomorrow and cuss a little more. I'm going to tell you what's fixing to happen to you. You're going to let it slip in front of the preacher. When you do, you're going to be real embarrassed. Come on. Boy, he got quiet this morning, man. <laughs> Story of God in the last nine years, you've done figure that thing while I was going to play games. You see, I've seen it. I've seen it and I've heard it while I was a prayer. Amen. Get quiet now, ain't Jamie. Bless him, Lord. I'm going to preach a little bit. You see, whether you get right with God or not, and I'm going to get these young ones to come back and say, whether you get right with God or whether you don't, and I'm going to tell you just straight up this morning, the reason you can't see nothing spiritual in the house of God and praise God and in the Word of God, it's your mouth that's causing you problems. Amen. Well, now that got quiet. God cannot bless over sin. Whether you like me or whether you don't, I'm trying to tell you and help you this morning. Get out of a mess. Can I get an amen? amen? Now this is what the book said, Brother Lester. I want you to know something. You don't have to like me, but it ain't going to change one thing in this book. Amen. Can I get an amen? Oh, we honor the Word of God. Old John was in prison. Amen. And all John done and all he was guilty of brother Jamie was telling the king that it was unlawful for him to have his brother's wife amen can I get an amen, amen. all he done was told him the truth and they got mad amen. well see you can get mad at me this morning but listen to what the book says listen to what the book says I wonder how long you'd keep me as a pastor if I lived like some of you live. Amen. So that's me preaching. He ain't preaching in love. Well, praise God, if I didn't love you, I wouldn't tell you. Amen. You see, the Lord's coming. And I believe that this morning, without a shadow of a doubt, He's coming to you. Why do you think it bothers me so bad when Ricks fell off the deep end of you? Now listen. And you know what bothers me the most is some of you can't even pray for this young because you're not right with God. Amen. That's now how much plainer have you ever heard it preached? It don't get no plainer than this, does it? Now I want you to listen to what the book says, Colby. Praise God, are you ready? You see, peoples are dying without God and they're living like hell. But Jesus is still the same. Amen. Amen. Over in the 11th chapter of the book of Matthew, come to my mind as we walked in this church this morning, and I didn't know I was going to say all this, but praise God. Amen. It needs to be said. Come on. Get quiet now. So I won't come back next Sunday. That's up to you. But I'll be back here a preaching. Can I get an amen? amen? Will there be anybody else here to listen? Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? Come on, church. Praise God, amen. Woo! Lord God, can't you feel it? It's heaven a coming. The Bible said, amen, in the 
third chapter of the book of Matthew and get ready to sing. We're going to have church. Amen. Praise God. I get revival and I can't hardly stand it. Praise God. Amen. Listen to me. I believe people need, amen, a space of repentance. And I believe they need a place to call on God. Amen. And it's got the world when you look around and you see people's life. You wonder if God's even strong enough to bring you out of the stuff that you're in. Hey, I'm going to preach a little. It don't affect God any. Listen. The Bible said in 11th chapter of the book of Matthew, the Bible said, and it came to pass in the first verse, it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding His twelve, amen, disciples, He departed thence to teach and to preach in their cities, amen. Now when John had heard, amen, in the prison, the works of Christ, He sent two of His disciples, amen, now listen, and He sent them, amen, and He said unto him, Art thou He that should come, or do we look for another, amen? Praise God, I believe in some of you this morning, has looked around the way people live and the way they talk. Amen. And you're wondering if this is the right way. Well, John was in prison and all John done was told him what the book said. Amen. And he got down and out. And he's just a wondering among himself. I see how they're living. I know how the king's doing. But I just want to know if this is the one. Amen. Or do I need another? Praise God this morning. Thank you, Lord. Woo! Oh, John. Jesus answered and said, Amen unto them. He said, Go and shoot John again. Those things which ye do hear and see. He said, You go show John again. You see, John had seen his sister. I've seen the power of God. I've seen God heal. I've seen God bring people out of it. I've seen Him make new creatures. I, woo! I'm going to slow down just a minute. Sister Sandy, I've helped ordain a many a young man. Amen. I was standing there last night, praise God, and sat there and I listened to Brother Dennis Plevins preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus and power and the demonstration of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. I've helped ordain a many of them, Billy Joe, and part of them done turn back on God and bring a reproach on the name of the Lord and they make people feel like your God ain't able or ain't powerful enough to take care of your needs. Can I get an amen? I don't understand what people are thinking, but I can tell you right now their thinking is wrong. But I thank God, amen, and we ought to tell these young men while they're still preaching the book and in the power to demonstrate, we ought to tell them how proud you are of them and we ought to get behind them and pray for them and lift them up and people might know that they are a prophet of God. Can I get an amen? Oh, John was willing to die, man. Man, to tell a lie, praise the Lord. Amen. I promise you didn't find that man to cuss it. Amen. Yeah. Really, my Lord. Say, does cussing bother you that bad? Let me tell you what the book says. <laughs> The Bible said that the tongue was full of unruly evil and it couldn't be tamed. But he said, as you put a bridle in a horse's mouth and you stir that horse left and right, amen, and you cause him to stop with a bit, amen. You see, you control that horse. Can I get an amen? Anybody know what I'm preaching about? Do you know anything about a horse? Can I get an amen? You get one that man is broke and you put a bit in its mouth, you'll turn its head, it'll go that way or that. He said, if a man think of himself to be religious and bridle not his tongue, he said that man to see with his own heart and his religion is in vain. Amen. I don't want your heart to be deceived. You need to bridle that thing and control it. Can I get an amen? amen. Oh, it's got quiet in this place this morning. Amen. Amen. That's good because I know you're listening. He said, you go tell John again. You see, John already knows this. He just needs a little reassurance. 
you know how many times in the wee hours of the night when you felt like you saw for yourself you just wanted to quit? And the Lord said, call the preacher, he'll pray for me. We pray together and the next day we are making it again. Amen. It seems like those we love just gets worse and worse and worse. And they make fun of us. And some, praise God, used to come to this church without living like hell right now. And praise God, some of you don't bother you a bit. Amen. I'm just going to tell you what's on my mind this morning. It don't bother people to see them living like hell. Now they're going around saying that they don't agree with what I preach. Amen. That what I preach ain't what they believe. If you can't pre- believe what I'm a preaching, praise God, you don't believe the book. Amen. The Bible said, if my word offend thee, you're none of mine. Amen. Take that that you only preach yeah. God. Amen. Come Amen. on, I'm going to preach a little bit. Amen. The Bible says you go tell John again. Just go back and tell him one more time, Brother Gary, what you've seen and what you've heard. I've seen God reach down in the bottom of a liquor bottle and pull out a man a preacher. Can I get an amen? I watched him take a young man. A man who used to drive his daddy to the liquor place and make a deacon out of him. I've seen people regenerated and made alive. You see, everybody ain't backslid. And everybody ain't not guilty. Some of us, praise God, still try. Thank you, Lord. Bless you. More God, Father. Jamie, he said, go tell him again. Every time I've ever talked to you and talk, told you the truth, has God's Word ever it come true in your life, didn't it? Amen. Amen. It come true in this little boy's life. Lord, it come true in your life, didn't it? You seen the power of God moved you. Now you know that praise God, the God I'm a preaching about. He's able to take care of you, these girls and that little boy. Now you know He's able to put things together. You can trust Him, brother. Don't look around at what people are doing. Praise God, focus on Jesus. Can I get an amen? amen. Now listen to what He said. Bible said, Amen, the fourth verse, and I'm sitting tore up, I can't understand. He said, Jesus answered and said to them, Go and shoot John again. Those things which you do hear and you see. And he said, Now listen. He said, The blind receive their sight, and the lame walk, and the lepers are cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised up, and the poor, they have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Can I get an amen? You see, the way people live, don't change who Jesus is. They still saw and deliver for God. And we're not any witness in the day. Praise God. Amen. Praise you, Lord. Youngins in the school system, you fix them to go back into something with some God. You know that. And there ain't going to be as many, sister, and you know what I'm talking about, that's going to profess to know Jesus. They go to church every Sunday. They go right back home with their mom and dads, and they live like hell. They'll come to church, and they'll tell you it's okay. Amen. You keep us standing, and I know you will. Amen. Amen. Praise God, son, you stand on the Word of God. Don't you be, don't you be swayed, youngins. Praise God, you got somebody to stand with. Amen. I'll come to the school and sit beside of you, brother. Praise God, and when they ask who I am, you just tell them I'm your bodyguard. <laughs> hey, you tell them that's the preacher and God sent me. He's the one that loves me. Hey. He's the one going to fight for me. He'll take care of me. Say, preacher, you're crazy. I may be crazy, but I have given them to the devil. Hey. And the devil's bones. Can I get an amen? And there ain't none of you going to mislead them either. Amen. 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 
Amen. You see, it ain't changed Jesus. God told me another night I was afraid. Heart broke. And this is what he said. He said, Dave, just quit worrying. I got this thing. I got this thing. He said, Lord, I can't handle no more. I feel like I've wasted my time. Some of them I feel like I've wasted my time, see. God said, praise God, just don't worry about it. I've got this thing. You ain't wasted nothing. Hey man, he said, I'm going to show you. You better get ready. There was a play in games, better get ready. Amen. Hey Amen. Hey because I've been praying that God took the cover off of you, praise God, and hey amen, just show everybody just what you are. Hey amen. And that you come in. But you see, God give you an opportunity this morning to repent. And I'm going to preach repentance right now with the day I die, sister. Hey amen, praise God. Help the ordain your baby. Proud of that young man. I saw him in this church. I saw this baby. I was standing right over here preaching the gospel one night. And revival me in this little church. You remember it, Carl? How little boy of yours is sitting right about here. I said he'd fall on his belly. And he crawled to the altar and gave his life to Jesus. He's serious about this thing. You know what God done for him? God called him to preach because he's willing to give up everything. And he loved and walked for Jesus. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. Help ordain him in this church. You know, it's a sad thing, but there's some people that I'm even ashamed to tell people that I know. Amen. You know, it's time somebody tells you the truth. Amen. Now this morning, God said to tell you. And I promise you this is the last morning. Amen. That's pretty plain, ain't it, sister? Amen. And God's a calling your name, and you know who you are. I believe we want to have church, and you can't have church. You ain't enjoyed church for a long time because every time you come to the house of God, it cries out on you. Everybody says they're okay. And you see, from where I'm looking, amen, praise God, amen, I pray to God you're okay. Amen. But oh, learn the Word of God, this is what God done. When God called Saul to go down there and wipe out the enemy, you know why He wanted to die? He said to get all the sin out. He didn't say you meant to leave one thing in your heart. Amen. Praise God. He told Saul, He said, I've heard of the amulets and I know what they've done to my people, Rex. That's what He told me. Now he told Saul, he said, you go down to the Amulet camp and you wipe them out. You take your sword and you slay them all. All the cattle, the, amen, the asses, the sheep, the goats, amen, from the king to the baby, and you slay them all. Right. Saul thought he was something. And he went down to the Amulet camp, the enemy of God's people. And instead of killing them, he killed a few of them. He thought that's good enough. He even took the best of the herds and he kept it. Kept the king alive. God told him to kill him. And the Bible said that he went over into another place. Wasn't even in the place where God wanted him to be. He went over in another place and prepared a sacrifice to sacrifice to God. The Bible said that Samuel went down to get him. And the Bible said that God told him to go down and get him. And when he got down there, amen, Saul wasn't even in the place where God told him to be. And when he saw the man of God coming, this is the way people are. They see the preacher coming, they'll quit talking like they're talking, they'll straighten up and look like somebody. And they'll want to talk about God's Word right off the bat, amen. But you ain't got nobody fooled. Because this is what the Word of God said. Oh, Saul saw him coming, sister. You're going to get ready to sing, we're going to have church. You see, God's calling somebody's name. 
thing. The Bible said, and when he got down to Saul, hey man, Saul started right off the bat. He said, I've done all that the Lord has commanded me to do. And say, Amen. No man of God said, Yea, but what meaneth the blade of the sheep and the Lord of the cattle? The Bible said, Be sure your sins will find you out. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. And because he didn't listen to God, the Lord took him off of his throne. And praise God, he took his sword. And the man of God slew the king and chopped him in pieces. Man, you don't realize what an honor it is for God to choose you to be in the house of God and chose to use you as a child of God, you don't know what kind of an honor that is. But if you're not willing to take it serious, I promise you God has got somebody that does. Amen. Can I get an amen? <coughs> Come on! Really much, Lord. Blind still see. Come on. Come on. The lame still walk. The lepers are clean. Dead's being raised up, Sister Judy. Praise God, it ain't over yet. And the poor has got the gospel preaching. Now, let's have church. You want to? Has God touched your heart this morning while they sing? But you made me mad, preacher. Well, listen, you're listening. Time's coming when you'll wish you hadn't gotten mad and listened to what I tell you. I tell you, I'm trying to inspire you from what's coming. You say, I've done seen you. I've done seen you. While they sing this morning, praise God. Does anybody want to pray? get quiet this morning, brother. If this is my last message in this world, I pray to God I preach it just like God you say it. Amen. I pray to God that God's let me preach just like He said to me to preach. If today's my last day, I'm going with you or without you. Amen. Got my mind made up. I'm out of here. Get ready. This young man right here, God sent her. And I thought about the kids in this church. There's not a person in this church that's got more love. And I saw her cry out to her mom. And she did it right. God sent this baby for a witness to the grown ups in this church.
miss a chance this morning. People's going to miss it, brother. Just like they did Friday night. And you know, it's a strange thing, brother. I know they wasn't coming back last night. Everybody acted like they were shocked. You know, I don't even like people to tell me where I'm at. I don't like them to tell me when I'm wrong. Amen. That's human nature. Listen to me this morning. <coughs> Somebody needs to pray. <coughs> so I was quick, preacher. That's up to you. Make a bright sun somewhere.
first thing is, praise God, that God said that you'll know that you've passed from death into life. You know what the first thing happens when you give your life to Jesus and you truly saved? You love everybody else. Amen. When you love everybody else, you wouldn't do something to hurt people. Amen. Come on. You wouldn't say nothing that would hurt them. Wouldn't live a lifestyle when you bring a Amazing. Did you pass out sweet? Or you had love.
Trail. What do you want? Me. Sing us another song. We're gonna fellowship. I ain't a bad one. <laughs> Amen. I've done exactly what God told me to do, brother. <laughs> God, I'm justified. I'm, I'm, my hands is clear. <laughs> Amen. I'm all right with God. Amen. I go home, praise God, and say it's all right with me. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have church. Amen. Everybody, don't you leave me? Hey, food in the in the fellowship hall. We're gonna eat the fellowship here after a while. Praise God! I believe we're gonna have church. And if you need to pray this morning, and God's touched your heart, it's for Jesus. Sing it, sister. Praise God! Listen. Listen to the words.